Hi, I'm Greg Altaus. I'm co-founder and CTO at Bracken. Today, we're going to talk about digital rebar provision and its preferences. So preferences are parts of the system that tweak the overall operation, not necessarily specific to machines or boot environments. So these are just how the system itself is going to operate. Uh, preferences are represented as uh, an object in our system. These can be set through the CLI or the UI. And so let's look at those real quick. So in the UI, you can see the preferences. We have six-ish, eight-ish, seven, if I can count, preferences right now. There are three uh, for debug purposes. Uh, the default value is zero, which means it won't really put out very much information. You can change those to one, which is kind of more information, and two is full debug for each of the subsystems. So if you set those values, update the system, the log will then start to operate and show those values. So if I like do DHCP to one, I can say update, and I have my node here, and I can start seeing that I'm getting my DHCP messages coming through. And um, that. So I can then turn it off once I'm happy with what I've debugged and the preferences and then I'll quit receiving those messages. That applies for all three of the parts. The boot env shows things like exploding ISOs and operating on the boot environments themselves. And the renderer is actually for file rendering and showing the contents of what's being rendered and what's being rendered. So setting it to one will show you what's being rendered. Shutting it to two will show all the full contents of everything being rendered. The other, per, um, the other preferences are default boot environment. That is the boot environment that machines get when they're created if they do not have a boot environment specified. The unknown boot environment represents what a machine that attempts to boot has been given IP address and pointed at the provisioner for some reason, either through our DHCP server or a different one, um, and doesn't have a machine entry. So what should it get? And in this case, it's currently set to the discovery. By default, it's set to ignore, which means tell the system to boot the local disks. The other two are where some of our security features are token timeouts. Tokens can be generated to give um, bearers access to parts of the system. The tokens can be given a timeout as well as a scope. There's a element in a template that allows you to generate a token and it can either generate a known token, which means that the machine is known, in which case the token is generated to be valid for one hour by default. And that token can only be used to read and update a machine's object. In fact, that specific machine's object. And the unknown token is used in the case of like when you boot discovery to create the machine inside of digital rebar provision. That token is only valid to create a machine, that's it. Uh, and I guess read a machine to see if it exists. Um, those two values are available through that token and it's only valid for uh, 10 minutes. The idea is that the discovery process is much faster and usually completes in under 10 minutes where an install might take longer and so we give an hour for its ability to update and have that token valid. You can change these preferences here in the UI as well as this is my kind of installed environment that I have running. Um, I can say preferences, prefs, right, and get my list. I can list them, and then I can also alter them through the same environment. So I can say debug DHCP2. That then sets it, and then I can see in my window over here, I start getting DHCP messages. This is the log of my running DR provision. So my node over here is doing DHCP. So in this case, I can then go and set that off. And I can chain these together. So I can also do things like debug, render at the same time. And that'll set them. And then I can also set them back. Okay. So that's our preferences, kind of what we have today. Hopefully you found that useful. Um, you can find more videos. Um, uh, from our YouTube channel, YouTube channel, and the documentation also covers preferences and how to set them and other operational choices.
Hopefully you found that useful. See you next time.